is good. Wait. Very good, take it. My dad is here. I have a couple of announcements to make today. Little ones, uh, just previews, but this is a big one. This is the third time, fourth time I've seen you this year, I think. May, June, or July. Yeah. I think. I am the luckiest man in Paris, it's true. So Cooper's not with us because he's not able or allowed to run very far at all yet, but uh, he'll get there. Uh, yeah, stick around, bouncing around in Paris. Well, that, just stuff to talk about. And if nothing else, we'll enjoy time in Paris with my dad and Cooper. first and I almost forgot about this we need to get his health pass updated because he's boosted but it's not in his French pass and they will definitely not let him in anywhere without it and I am hungry so hopefully this works on our first try the pandemic has created quite an industry boy has it all kinds of new things 36 euros at this pharmacy in Pigal no guarantees that they'll still be doing it when you get here but I know there's one in Republique that'll do it as well so between the two there's a 24-hour one in Republique that'll do it and then this guy I'll show you on the roundabout at Pigal the metro stop and then we can get lunch which is good because a uh, full workout and a run on a banana is not enough is it and you're you're just being you just won't sleep so you're being a little annoying yeah don't like that <laughs> Oh, it's too late. Ah, I love you. Yeah, it's too late. Too late. Too late. Missed the little confetti spree, but he is officially French vaccinated now. Good to go. So if you're ever in Pigalle and you see the giant Folie Pigalle, we went to the pharmacy right there. But now lunch. He wants a burger. He doesn't like Dumbo. Dumbo's right here, which is a really good smash burger if you're into that. So I'm going to take him to Paris, New York. Paris, New York. Not far from here. Also very good. He's, he's not into the smash. How was your burger, Cooper? Very good? Yeah, that's good. He'll never know what a burger tastes like, I don't think. Maybe someday. Accidents happen, but. Stop. Good boy. Okay, let's go. Stop. Good boy. Very good stop. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, let's go. All over the place. Huh, you're getting tired. Yeah. You can tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's a little bit. Yeah, it's Boy. Yeah. One of the announcements, more or less, is that uh, I'm going to be getting back into, you know, well, hopefully, assuming the dog lets me, touring around Paris more and sharing some stuff because I know a lot of you are planning to come back for the first time in a long time. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. 
<laughs> and if I don't get constantly interrupted by people wanting to snuggle him. Yeah, I'm gonna do a whole new series and I'm actually gonna get some help, some outside help. We're gonna try and change things up. I'm redoing my guides, redesigning them, putting some new information in, updating them and then getting ready to share a bunch of new stuff around Paris, some stuff that I haven't shared before in some ways I haven't shared before. Really excited to, really looking forward to it. So putting some work into that. One of those is specialty coffee roasters, some of my favorite roasters in town. We're going to one of them right now, get some coffee, because I haven't had coffee yet today and I'm feeling it. But this guy, he made it all the way up the hill all on his own. Cooper, good job. Yeah, he did such a good job. Good boy. Okay, stop. Good boy-ish. Oh, you want to get picked up so bad. Okay, let's go, we're almost there. <laughs> Are you going the stairs? Yeah, good boy. Look at those stair skills. You're a natural. Yeah, good boy, good boy. Unfortunately, the pet store is closed. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah, I like that. It was worth a try. We'll come back up here. We've been waiting on a couple of, I don't even know if, I don't know if I have to wear the mask outside. I don't think, I don't think we have to wear the masks outside anymore. It's confusing. Anyways, we'll get the pet supplies here soon. I, what I need is I need an extra long outdoor leash for him so he can run in the park, um, but also not not make a, red, a, a speedy escape. And then some cleaning supplies to keep him, his ears in particular, nice and clean. But uh, we'll come back and get that here soon. How's your coffee? That's good. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm tired. Conscious? Uh, almost. <laughs> Barely. Hey, good boy. Uh, rarely, rarely just walking around. So one of the other things I've been thinking about, I'm curious, well, I've talked about it before. I'm really bored with Instagram. I really don't like it. I haven't liked Instagram in a really long time, but I've been disciplined in posting a photo every day for like 11 years, which has been good. Ooh, this is a nice view. The light up here today is amazing. And the wind is probably too much up for the fun. Uh, I don't know, kind of thinking about quitting doing the photo a day thing. Does that even interest many of you? Is it good? Feels like it's just not the same as when I started, when it was like kind of meaningful. It was meant to capture something that happened that day. And now it just feels like a picture of random Paris building a day half the time, and or now a picture of Cooper a day. I don't know, just been thinking about that too. No announcement there, just trying to figure out what I'm doing. We had a trivia night, which is good. We lost miserably. You're still awake. True. Mostly. And we found Pushan. <laughs> who's, who's partially aware of our existence. This is great. Sleepy little selfie cam shot here. That's just the update. That's all we got. We need to go to bed. It's late. I'm not going to get any sleep tonight before Cooper wakes up. Coffee and Cooper. Between the jet lag and the sleeplessness, we're all on the same page, more or less, at this point. It's really cool to watch the Eiffel Tower capture the sun, though, and it's also nice to get a little bit of shade from it. We're gonna bounce around. Do you know what, what do you what do you want to do today? Uh, recovery. Recovery. That's good. Well, at the moment, yeah. All right, we'll find something to do. Coffee kicks in. I need to get a little bit of work done and upload. There's some video stuff with 
the uh, making a coffee. The first one might as well be a specialty roasters guide, well, a guide to coffee in Paris. But making a video about that, we need to go to one more spot. So we're gonna try and hit them up today. I think. Uh, otherwise, that video is pretty much ready to roll. So much exciting stuff to come. I'm actually really excited. I think one of the hardest things about um, the last month has been that I came into this year very excited for the year. And in getting a dog, I did it because I felt the happiest and healthiest I've been in a really long time. I maintain that, I think it's very true, but it's been a lot of work and it will continue to be for a while. A lot less sleep. And it's a very, very big additional challenge to trying to jump in and get ready for the, hopefully the return of visitors to Paris. Because I'd really like to be able to provide you with a lot of good information, update some old stuff. There's some changes to how the Metro is working right now. You know, just a, a really fun time to, to hopefully really explore Paris and uh, well I've got a little uh, a little addition that makes that a little challenging because he's just face plants everywhere we go I've been here. If I remember correctly, we want to go around this way. We're going to Hexagon, one of the smaller local roasters that is very good. There's another really good one that I don't know that we're going to go to. I don't know if we'll make it, but it's called Ambition, and it's uh, it's uh, it's also very tasty. They serve it at the Peloton sometimes. Run by a guy named Juan, who's a very friendly friendly guy. Ambition with a C. You want to check that out while you're here too. But uh, we're going to go to Hexagon because they were in my list for uh, this coffee roastery one. If you want to see the rest of them, have to hang out and wait. It's coming. Yep, here it is. Good boy. Unfortunately, we have discovered that Jardin de Luxembourg, the Luxembourg Gardens, uh, are not dog friendly. No dogs allowed. Understandable, but unfortunate if you're trying to cut through for lunch. And it's also one of my favorite parks in the city. So he'll be a bag dog when he goes in there, but right now, he needs to walk and keep practicing walking on a leash, which he's doing great. Good job, buddy. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? He's really doing a good job walking, like generally walking more and more, which is nice because my back is getting pretty tired of carrying him all the time. And uh, yeah, he's learning really fast. Good at stopping in crosswalks. Generally walks with a loose leash. I'm proud of him, as you can probably tell. Grab one that you can see the screen for sure. Come on, you gotta guard. You gotta guard Grandpa while he's withdrawing money from the ATM, from an ATM that works hopefully. All right. Protection mode. Get him. Any bad guys? You see any bad guys? Where are the bad guys? Where are they? Oh, yeah. Sit and watch. Sit and watch. Good boy. Good boy, yeah. Keep on the lookout. With all the weight loss, my jeans are literally falling off. Both pair. The old pair where I was much fatter and the newer pair where I was somewhat less fat. <sighs> Gotta buy some new jeans so I don't keep falling off. I also need to punch a hole in my belt because none of my belts are small enough anymore either, so. Pant shopping. Right, puppy? Yeah. Also funny to me that the uh, NFL is finally having its heyday in France. Go sports. I don't know my sizing anymore, so I'm gonna try a shirt on to figure it out, but I can't try the pants on out here. Definitely much easier to get a little bit of clothing shopping done with a babysitter. That's for sure. It's something I hadn't, I was trying to do during the sales, but was not bound to happen. You know, puppy complications. So thanks, Dad. Helpful. Anyways, trying to keep him awake. We're gonna go get some more coffee. Hopefully uh, film a little bit more. Just a retouch for that video I was working on. I might call it a day. Honestly, things are good. Like, basically, it's just kind of better and better all the time. Like, sleeping more, really figuring out his rhythms. He's a really good dog. Like, training him, getting him better at everything he wants, he needs to do. Stop. Good boy. Look at that, he does it on his own. Smart boy. Okay, 
Ready? No. Leave it. Good boy. Okay, let's go. Good boy. It's a challenge trying to get all of the work done, exercise in, sleep, and everything this guy needs. Definitely not easy. Feels a little overwhelming at times, but like I feel like we're getting on top of it more and more. Definitely getting close to being ready to hit the ground running again here soon. So, which is exciting because I really want to get out, explore more, share more of the city, and like I said, dive into helping those of you who are coming prep to get here sooner than later. Hopefully 2022 is the year that people really start coming back to Paris. I know that we would like that, and I know Cooper would like that, wouldn't you, Cooper? No? You like the streets all to yourself? Okay, well that's selfish. The handsomest little man. Thanks for watching. As you can tell, it's been a uh, crazy week. It's been a crazy month. I've had this guy for a month as of tomorrow, as of filming this right now, uh, or in two days, I guess. But either way, I can't keep time straight, and uh, I, I'm sure you can understand why. Not a whole lot of sleep and a whole lot of running around, and most days are good. Some days, pretty rough. But overall, life is great. Thanks to my patron producer, Josephine Pit Patan, for making uh, all this possible, along with all of my patrons. And thanks to you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, I thought it would be kind of fun just to do a little bit of a slice of life vlog today, just to change things up. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot more Paris content and a lot more, you know, the channel is going to uh, go through some changes over the near future, but it's nice to get these little moments captured because I'm, I'm going to appreciate seeing these in the future. I know uh, seeing him as a puppy and I hope you enjoy getting to watch him grow up a little bit with me as we go as well. So uh, if you've ever thought about becoming a patron, now's a great time to do so. Put him in some more fancy puppy sweaters down the line. We'll be out of sweater season here soon. He'll be a naked dog for uh, the foreseeable future, hopefully. And uh, I will see you bright and early one of these mornings sometime soon uh, for more vloggy stuff. We've got an interesting one in mind for next week. And then of course, for more heresy stuff which I'm really excited. Uh, I will be giving my patrons a preview, of course, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you think about it when we get to it. And otherwise, um, I'm gonna let a little doggo sleep. Hopefully he's actually sleeping. He's been struggling with the naps lately. And uh, I will see you probably with a little more dad content next week too, because my dad will be back briefly on his way back to the States. I'm a, I'm a very lucky guy on that front. Anyways. Have a good, I'm gonna hopefully get some sleep by then too. I pro I'm gonna try. I'm gonna really, I'm really gonna try. And I will see you next week for that. 